For the last four decades, one actress has stood out above the rest. She has the most Oscar nominations of all time, but shows no signs of slowing down. Let's take a look at the incredible resume of Meryl Streep. Mary Louise Meryl Streep, the most acclaimed film actress of the modern era, was born on the 22nd of June 1949 in Summit, New Jersey. Her career got off to an exceptional start in the late 70s, with timeless performances in The Deer Hunter and Manhattan. Then she won two Academy Awards in the space of just four years, for Kramer vs. Kramer and Sophie's Choice. I thought, will I be able to make a living? Will I be able to pay my rent? And I imagined that I would be an actress in the theater in New York all my life. That's what I saw for myself uh, when I finally reconciled myself to the fact that I would be an actress and it took a long time to even admit that because I'm not somebody who wanted to be a star since I was eight. She quickly became known as an actress with an emotional and dramatic range that was completely unrivaled in the industry. But according to Merrill, this was just her style and not a rule book on how to act. She continued to impress throughout the 80s with movies like The French Lieutenant's Woman and Out of Africa, always taking on characters she felt would be difficult to play. I do have a perverse need to put challenges in front of me that, that make me sort of step up to what it is that I fear, sure. you know? Her stock remained high in the 90s, thanks to wonderful performances in, among others, Death Becomes Her, The River Wild, and The Bridges of Madison County. To many, it looked like Meryl Streep was at the very heart of Hollywood's beating pulse. But that, apparently, couldn't be further from the truth. You know, I'm, I'm strictly an actor for hire, and I like it that way. The more successful most actors become, the more involved they tend to get in the filmmaking process. But Streep has never written a screenplay and has no interest in directing. <sighs> Forgive me. It's not my area of expertise. I'm sort of more, I can contribute to a script and, and help, you know, with what a character might say. But as far as the architecture of a whole story, I don't have that skill. When it comes to growing and developing, she keeps it all within the realms of acting. For the 2008 blockbuster Mamma Mia, Meryl fulfilled a long-term ambition of starring in a hit musical. Then you're gone, looking out for another, anyone will do, you're in the mood. She is blessed. There are actors that are just from another space and dimension, and they just have the gift of this great art of acting. And she's definitely there at the pinnacle. That same year, Meryl balanced out her fun Mamma Mia experience with a highly dramatic part in Doubt. It was a story she felt particularly connected to, as the theme of Doubt continues to play a key role in her own life. In 2011, she won her third Oscar, playing former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. It was just thrilling. It was like I was a kid again. I mean, it was I was a kid when I won this. It was like 30 years ago. Two of the nominees were not even conceived when I was. <laughs> and uh, so, I, you know, it was great. In 2013, Streep hit cinemas with another heart-wrenching performance in the comedy drama August Osage County with Julia Roberts, Ewan McGregor, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Chris Cooper. The following year, still showing no signs of slowing down, Streep hit screens in two very different projects. First up, the sci-fi drama The Giver with Jeff Bridges. To work with her was just a dream come true. I've been wanting to work with her for a long time. And that Christmas, she unveiled the musical fairy tale mashup Into the Woods. 2015 kept the musical theme going, with Meryl as an aging rocker in Ricky and the Flash. The film was a bit of a family affair, as Streep's real-life daughter Mamie Gummer played her daughter in the movie. We'll see all about Ricky and the Flash next week in Films and Stars. With record-setting numbers of award nominations and wins, and several million admirers, it's no wonder Hollywood icon Meryl Streep is seen by many as the greatest actress ever. Just don't say that to her. I just, you know, I'm yes, I am sick of that phrase because I don't think there is any such thing as the greatest <clears throat> artist, actor, uh, musician. It's just a, you know, it's not a sporting event, yeah. so it just seems silly.